Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. This week, as promised, I'm here with the what's in my bag video. This was the most requested video for reaching 15k, so I'm really happy to share it with you all. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about each individual item, just because the nature of the video doesn't really allow for that. Um, but if you have any questions about what things are or how things work or where things are from, then feel free to leave a comment and I'll make sure I keep on top of answering them. Um, but I'll also leave some links in the description for some of the more obvious things, I guess. Um, so make sure to check there if you're looking for a specific item. Um, the bag I have is from And Other Stories, and it's actually no longer available. They don't make it anymore by the looks of it. Um, but it's a really common size and style, so I think you should be able to find a dupe pretty easily. Um, it has a shorter on the shoulder strap and then a longer crossbody strap and both are removable which is a really great feature to be honest. Um, you can also shorten the length of the crossbody strap which is another massive perk. Um, so I'm a really big fan. I will say the bag is deceptively roomy. When I was packing and unpacking it for this video I had no idea how much stuff I was actually carrying day to day without thinking about it. Um, so. Um, the little pop that I did there is how you shorten and also remove the crossbody strap and then the shorter strap just has clips, which is great. Um, I love a bag that you can remove all the handles from. <laughs> um, inside, it's pretty densely packed, but it's not uncomfortable. Like, it zips very well. The zip is really smooth and it fits a lot. Um, and the first thing I always carry is just a really small snack. At the moment, I'm carrying these Japanese chocolates, and they're my favourite. I have a hard time finding them here in the UK, but I recently bulk ordered some. Um, so now when I go out, I'm really living my best life. Um, I have energy level issues, and that's why I always carry a snack. The purse is also from And Other Stories. I don't love it, and I don't know if they still make this colour, but they do still make this style. Um, I mostly just use it for carrying all my loyalty cards <laughs> because I pay with my phone like most people in the UK. I use Apple Pay um, and I don't really carry cash apart from for the nail salon. Um, so in the coin section is literally just a £5 note, some coins and my nail salon loyalty card because that's all the purse is for, it's just the nail salon. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't love it, but it does the job and it doesn't really need replacing. So it is what it is. Um, the next thing I have is my face mask. Um, it's a disposable face mask, but I do get a few wears out of it before I have to change it. I prefer the ones with the clips on the nose because I have quite a small face and so a lot of face masks just don't fit me. Um, but these ones are good. And then I have this little zip pouch from Brandy Melville. I don't really shop there, but I did buy this pouch there. <laughs> um, the zip gets a bit stuck sometimes, but otherwise it's a great pouch. I just keep my earplugs. Um, and like warning, they're slightly dirty, so like, sorry to anyone who's triggered by the dirty earplugs. Um, I haven't been wearing them recently now that I have over the head headphones, um, but I keep them just in case. Um, and then I just have a scrunchie and a hair clip in case I want to put my hair up while I'm out, or I break a hairband or something. Um, now that my hair's a bit longer, I've been wearing it up a bit more, so I just like to have a panic scrunchie in my handbag. <laughs> And then next, some paracetamol. Um, I have chronic headache issues. I'm actually now medicated for it, so I don't rely on the paracetamol as much, which is great for stomach ulcers, I guess. Um, this is a forehead balm, so it's like a, a pain-relieving glue stick for your forehead. <laughs> like, you run the- you open it up, and then it's like a prit stick, and you run it over your forehead, and it's cooling. Um, I don't know how to explain it better than that, but I do use it a lot. I really like it. It's a really weird niche product that I is a, such a big part of my life. Um, and then my inhalers, again, um, big part of my life. I recently just got upgraded to this pink one. It's like a Glossier inhaler. It's very cute. Um, it's a big step up from the brown one I had most of my life. Um, and then an actual Glossier lipstick. Um, I don't use this very much at the moment. Over COVID, I really stopped wearing a lot of makeup. Um, so it, I just still carry it out of habit and just in case. The shade is cake, I think, if I am remembering correctly. Um, I do really like the formula. And then a tangle. Um, your girl is autistic, so I do carry a stim. I often carry this specific tangle, and if my bag is really full, what I'll do is actually open up one of the links and just clip it onto the ring of the purse on the outside. Um, sometimes I carry this clicky thing that my brother left behind. Um, a big fan of that too. I think it's pretty good.
And then this is a sunflower lanyard. Um, they got misused a lot recently, but I still carry mine just in case I need it somehow. Um, and it has a little autism alert card attached to it. And then similarly, I have this autism alert card pouch thing from the National Autistic Society. Um, this was mostly for when I was living in London. So I have my TFL, please offer me a seat card and then some information. Um, I don't use these as much now that I'm not traveling as much, but it's good to have them. I feel safer having them. It's a loose chocolate in my bag. Um, a Carmex lip balm. I am a lip balm fanatic. I'm one of those people that has a lip balm in every single pair of trousers and every single bag and every single coat pocket. They're also just all over the house. Um, and the same with the gum. Like, you know I've been somewhere if there's gum and lip balm. <laughs> um, I only like this gum and this lip balm. It's very specific. Um, and then I have a plaster and some plaster wrappings, just keeping it real. I think I find more and I was a bit grossed out. <laughs> um, it's in case of blisters when I'm out and also paper cuts and stuff like that. This is my Oyster card. When I found this, I was actually really sad. I used to live in London. I grew up in London and I miss it. Um, so that was a bummer. And then another bummer, a broken bracelet. <laughs> so... Um, regular viewers might remember that I had, I got that bracelet and I opened it up in an Attic Archives episode and I broke it recently. I caught it like on a seatbelt in a car and it just tore and I'm gutted. I'm really upset about it. Um, which is why I put it back in the bag so that I don't have to think about it. Um, I think here is where I show you that I can actually get a book in my bag, like a small one, admittedly, and I have to leave some stuff out. This is my old phone. I'm just using it as a prop for you so you can see that a phone fits because I actually film on my phone. Um, so this is a little book from the London Review Bookshop and it fits, which is incredible. Like truly doing God's work there. <laughs> um, and the phone fits. And then I do leave out like one inhaler and the tangle and some other bits. The snack, obviously the snack has to go. <laughs> um, but basically if I take the snack out of my bag, I can get a book in there instead. So that's conflicting. <laughs> Um, but at least I know that if I need to have a compact bag and carry a book, I can do it. Like, who would have known that such a small bag had so much potential? I just think if you can squeeze a book into anything, that's great. That's such a perk. Like, if I can get a book in a coat pocket, sold. And it zips with minimal fuss. Like, how cool. And it still looks really neat. Like, I don't know how that works, but I'm thrilled that it does. <laughs> like, I couldn't explain it. It just, it just works. Like, how wild in a teeny tiny bag. I took this to a formal event recently with a book inside and I had no regrets. Like, I felt like I'd really peaked. Um, and then here I think I was just showing you that everything else does go back into. Um, but I made kind of a mess of it. Like, I'm not packing this very neatly. And the loose chocolate is going back inside the box, which was a choice. Um, yeah. Next, I have my tote bag. Um, this is when I have to carry more things. This is not like deliberate product placement. This is like, I do actually just use my own tote bag. <laughs> I tried to only design things that I also like. So, um, if I'm not using that one, I'll use this Uniqlo Snoopy tote bag. Um, it was a Snoopy collab and it's a bit bigger. So I love it. It fits a lot. I can get like a Manuskin vinyl in there if I need to. Um, in my tote bag, I carry other bigger things that I like to carry day to day if I'm going out for longer or if I will be sitting around. Um, the first thing is my Hobonichi inside the pouch. Um, regular viewers will be very familiar with this setup. So my notebook is in there, a loose tarot card, um, my pencil board, some stickers, my Halloween to-do list is in there. Um, and a pen and some other bits. And then Wednesday came and tried to interrupt the entire video for the 17th time. Um, the number of takes I actually had to do for this whole thing because Wednesday kept coming and getting in the middle of it all <laughs> was really funny. Um, funny now, not funny then. Um, so my Hobonichi notebook. And then I have another lip balm, obviously. Exact same lip balm. <laughs> Um, a little water bottle. I only carry a little bit of water because I don't drink a lot when I'm out, but otherwise I will buy a plastic bottle of water every time. So, um, My Marshall headphones. I love these because they sit so compact on the head and I have a small head. If I wear big headphones, I do look like a Cyberman from Doctor Who. So these are my ride or dies. Um, I got annoyed at the blue colour of the notebook probably. Um, a book. I just finished reading this one. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I read it. It was a journey. Um, if I have a bigger bag, I will carry my actual reading book and not just a really tiny book. 
Um, and I think that's all that's in there. I will often also carry an umbrella, but I didn't think to bring that upstairs for the video. I think it was downstairs drying at the time. Um, so you'll just have to trust me on that. But I live in the UK, so obviously I own an umbrella. So that is my tote bag and my handbag, and that is what I carry. Um, sometimes if I can't be bothered to carry two bags or I'm it's like a middle day and I'm carrying a bit of each, then I'll take most things in my tote bag and just leave my handbag at home. It really varies. Um, but that's what I carry and I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, please feel free to ask me any questions in the, in the comments um, and check the description for links. Um, but otherwise, I hope this was as interesting as you hoped it would be <laughs> um, and I'll see you soon.